Hello my dear viewers, in this video let us learn some interesting concepts pertaining to clocks. We all use clocks to know the time. The clock under our consideration, it consists of the hour hand which is the shorter hand, the minute hand which is the longer hand and a dial. In this video lecture, we will be discussing the rotation dynamics pertaining to the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock, the angle between the hands of a clock when the time is given, the concepts related to clocks losing and gaining time and also some equations pertaining to the mirror image of the time shown by a clock. So, Towards the end of the video, you will get the basic concepts and equations very much clear and you have got some questions that you can solve pertaining to the topic. Let's get started. The first concept I am going to cover in this video lecture is based on the rotation dynamics associated with the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock. Let us consider the rotation dynamics pertaining to the minute hand of a clock. The minute hand of a clock in order to cover 360 degrees it will take 60 minutes. So if 60 minutes it's over then we can see that the minute hand it would have covered 360 degrees which means that in one minute the minute hand moves by 360 divided by 60 that is equal to 6 degrees. So one minute the minute hand moves by 6 degrees or if the minute hand has moved by 6 degrees then we can conclude that one minute it has just got over. Now let us discuss the rotation dynamics pertaining to the hour hand of the clock. The hour hand in order to cover 360 degrees it will take 12 hours or we can conclude that if 12 hours it gets over then the hour hand it would have covered 360 degrees which means in one hour that is equal to 60 minutes the hour hand will cover 360 divided by 12 that is equal to 30 degrees. In other words we can see that in one minute span of time the hour hand it covers 30 by 60 that is equal to half a degrees. So we can see that in one minute span of time the hour hand moves by half a degrees or if the hour hand has moved by half a degrees then we can conclude that one minute has just got over. Thus we can see that in one minute the minute hand moves by six degrees and in one minute the hour hand it moves by half a degrees. So in one minute span of time the minute hand and the hour hand they both rotate in the clockwise direction and the relative separation between these two hands of the clock it changes by the factor five and a half degrees. So using this aspect some of the questions pertaining to the rotation dynamics of the clock can be solved. The next concept that is covered in this video it's dealing with the angle between the hands of a clock when the time is given. In order to calculate the angle between the hands of the clock we need to use this equation theta degrees that's the notation for the angle theta degrees it is equal to 11 by 2 m minus 30 h 
and we need to consider the numerical value associated with this theta we will take only the positive value wherein the variable m it corresponds to the minutes and h it corresponds to the hour so if the time given it is say 3 hours 28 minutes then we need to substitute the value m is equal to 28 and h it is equal to 3 in this equation and then solve and get the value for theta degrees in general theta degrees will lie within the range 0 degrees to 180 degrees so ensure that the theta value that we calculate it's lying within this range if theta is more than 180 degrees then we can perform the operation 360 degrees minus theta and then bring it back to this particular range for example if the time shown by the clock it is 9 o'clock then we can represent the theta value like theta is equal to 11 by 2 into 0 minus 30 into 9 the time given it's 9 o'clock kindly recall that so m value will be 0 and h value it is equal to 9 and theta value we can calculate it and get it as 270 degrees but since this theta value it is greater than 180 degrees then we can perform the operation this 360 minus 270 and get the value for theta as 90 degrees and this 90 degrees is measured in the anti clockwise direction so this aspect that is theta should be lying within the range 0 to 180 degrees to the extent possible that need to be considered while solving the questions the next concept to be noted is based on the clocks losing or gaining time uniformly the time gap between two successive coincidences between the hour hand and the minute hand of the clock it will be equal to 65 and 5 by 11 minutes suppose we consider the time duration 12 hours then from 12 hour when we consider 65 and 5 by 11 minutes somewhere close to 1 hour 5 minutes we can see that the hour hand and the minute hand they will be coinciding with each other now if the time gap for two successive coincidences between the hands of the clocks if it is greater than 65 and 5 by 11 minutes then the clock is said to be losing time uniformly now if the time gap between two consecutive coincidences two successive coincidences between the hands of the clocks if it is less than 65 and 5 by 11 minutes then the clock is said to be gaining time uniformly so this value that is 65 and 5 by 11 plays a critical role in deciding whether a clock is healthy or not